happy Monday, everyone. So we are going to continue with our imagination writing this week, and we are on to our last couple of steps when it comes to writing a story. So we've been thinking about setting, we've looked at characters, and now we're going to look at problem and solution, two very important things to make a story really interesting and turn it from you know, just plain writing sentences into a story that actually has a lesson and some interesting action. So today, you are going to use your character that you invented last week. So I saw some amazing characters, some fairies and some mermaids and some funny animals too. And you might remember my character is Robert the Elephant. And Robert is big, blue, he's shy, he's caring, he likes birds and doing tricks, and he dislikes broccoli and being laughed at. So that, if you remember, is my character. So you're going to use your own character that you have invented. If you didn't do one last week, maybe you could do one today as kind of before you start this activity. So you are going to use that character and start thinking about if they were in a story, what kind of problem might they have? So, you know, we've read tons of different stories and you've done a really good job when you're doing your rolling and reading and answering questions about what the problem is in this story. Like Lily, who had her purple plastic purse and she wrote a mean note to her teacher, that was her problem. Or Wemberly, who was so worried about going to school, that was a problem that she had. <laughs> Excuse me, notice how I sneeze into my elbow? Very important. So you're going to think about if your character was in a story, what problem might they have? So I know that my Robert the Elephant is shy. So I'm imagining maybe one of his problems is um, he really wants to meet a new friend, but he's too shy to go up and say hello to them. So he's too shy to talk to a new friend. You only want have to make have to come up with one problem. So if you come up with one problem for your character, you don't need to do anything more. But sometimes authors like to come up with lots of different ideas, do a brainstorm like we've done before, and then pick their favorite one. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a few different ideas of problems, and then I'm going to pick which one is I think the best story. So you can do the same as me where you come up with some different problems and you choose one, or maybe you've already thought in your imagination of a really solid problem and you don't want to think about anything else. It's totally up to you. So one of the problems I think Robert is too shy to talk to a new friend. Uh, another one, because I know he dislikes broccoli but he likes doing tricks, maybe I'm going to say he wants to learn a new trick but it has to do with broccoli. He has to use broccoli in the trick and he really doesn't want to. Wants to learn a new trick, but it has broccoli. Or maybe I know that Robert is really, really caring so maybe he sees somebody that needs help, like maybe he sees a little bird that's stuck in a tree and he wants to help the bird because we know he likes birds. So wants to help a bird that is stuck. And I guess now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of tough for a bird to get stuck in a tree. So maybe I would say that a bird is stuck in bubble gum. The bird, you know how birds have little tiny feet that sometimes they walk on. Maybe the bird was walking, got stuck in bubble gum, and now he needs Robert to help him. So here's three problems that I invented. One, he's too shy to talk to a new friend. Two, he wants to learn a new trick, but it has broccoli in it. Broccoli's very healthy for you. And, or problem number three, he wants to have a bird that's stuck in bubble gum and he's not sure how to help. Hmm, it's kind of hard for me to choose a problem so far. Maybe you could tell me which one of my three problems, too shy, 
learning a new trick or helping a bird stuck, maybe you could tell me which one of my three problems you think would make the best story. And I can do the same to help you if you like. If you come up with lots of different problems, maybe I can tell you which one I think would be the best story or we can ask some of your friends on Google Meet. Good luck and I will see you soon.